Hi there, and welcome to this new episode of the Megaton Tech Channel. This will be a first video in a series of two concerning the same subject being a specific uh, Wi-Fi enabled multi-room speaker uh, which has everything to be able to use Spotify Connect but somehow it doesn't. And in the second video I'm going to talk about what kind of solutions I came up with to still be able to use Spotify using this speaker or any other speaker for that matter. For that, uh, matter. Um, so this is the first video so, we're going, so I'm going to discuss in more detail the Minion P69055. Let's take a look at it. Okay, so this uh, particular Minion wireless multi-room speaker is, uh, is uh, on the cheap side and uh, you're able to connect it to your Wi-Fi network and then you can stream uh, internet radio or uh, your MP3s from your network uh, but I was uh, particularly interested if it would support uh, 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 Spotify Connect, so, um, so I was looking into that. Uh, it has a nice design, it also get, got a Red Dot 21 World of Design Award in 2013 for this particular design. Uh, but uh, going back to uh, Spotify Connect, so I looked at the advertisement and it didn't show Spotify Connect as such, but it says Qualcomm Alpay technology. And when I looked further into that, uh, I saw that this uh, uh, technology from Qualcomm uh, is Spotify Connect certified in the meanwhile. So I had a good hope that uh, uh, Spotify would uh, be supported by this particular uh, uh, speaker. So um, I, uh, I therefore I thought it would be a safe buy. Uh, I also uh, looked, uh, looked further onto a, uh, another website uh, which is uh, the Spotify Gear a website. I don't know if that's an endorsed website by Spotify itself but it uh, shows a whole range of different uh, devices that are uh, that support Spotify Connect as such uh, all kinds of uh, speakers, internet uh, radios um, from all kinds of uh, brands and in the end I also uh, saw that this uh, a um, particular medium speaker uh, was mentioned on this side, yeah, so there it is. Uh, that's the, the, the same medium speaker. So, uh, seeing and uh, looking into that, I had uh, high hopes that Spotify Connect would be supported by this device. So, for the, this reason, I thought, okay, uh, it's a safe buy, and uh, so I bought it and I installed it, um, and it plays back MP3 very well. Uh, internet radio is ablaze, uh, it has uh, 18 watts, nice design, everything to like about it, uh, only Spotify Connect. And let, let us take a closer look to the, the smartphone app that's, that comes with this speaker. I'm using here the live stream app uh, from Medium in Dutch and when you open it you get a menu with the different possibilities and music services is one of them and that lists Spotify. Uh, when you click on it, it opens the Spotify uh, uh, interface but does not show any Spotify Connect devices. So, it's really puzzling why the app shows Spotify in its list but it somehow doesn't work. So uh, I tried several things and I thought, okay, this is not going to work, I'm going to call the service desk. Uh, I really don't like the call service desk because normally they're only for really basic tips. Uh, they really don't know how to handle uh, the, a bit more technical savvy, uh, savvy questions um, and also this time uh, this was the case because in the end they said to me just put it in writing, write as an email uh, so I did this, uh, put all the evidence that I showed you in there and say what's up, uh, why is Spotify Connect not working uh, and uh, the, the answer was really disappointment, disappointing because uh, after a week they replied uh, saying that Spotify didn't, didn't adhere to certain protocols for uh, sharing uh, music so uh, looking at uh, the DLNA uh, type of uh, music sharing but that's for MP3s uh, in a folder and has nothing to do with uh, streaming services like Spotify so really disappointing but I also put some, uh, some uh, questions uh, concerning this on a form in on Spotify and there I got a completely other answer which really makes a bit more sense to me. 
So I put up this question uh, about a Qualcomm All Play device uh, not showing up in uh, Spotify Connect, and I got one reply uh, saying that okay, uh, uh, this uh, chip manufacturer is, uh, has enabled this uh, technology, but it should also be implemented in the firmware by the hardware manufacturer, which is probably not the case with this particular device. Uh, so that really made sense to me, and it's uh, really a pity that. It has everything but just not the updated firmware. Yeah, so the end conclusion has to be that this particular speaker does not support Spotify Connect, which is really a pity as you see that everything uh, on, on the technology side is in there to be able to do it. Uh, it only lacks uh, most probably a firmware. Uh, I do not know if Medion isn't able or willing to uh, provide this, but it's already two years uh, after the last uh, update, so I don't think that uh, this Spotify Connect uh, feature will ever materialize for this particular speaker, which is really a pity. Um, this also means that this speaker should not be listed on the Spotify Gear website because that's really misleading. So uh, if somebody at Spotify is uh, seeing this, uh, please remove this. Uh, this picture and this uh, and don't mention this speaker on the on, on this website because it doesn't support it. Um, I in the end uh, opted just to circumvent the whole uh, Wi-Fi part of the speaker and just uh, started to use the line in and connect some uh, low-cost devices that uh, are able to use Spotify or Spotify Connect. Uh, I came up with uh, three different solutions. Uh, two of them are DIY and uh, one of them is a bot solution and I am going to uh, discuss them uh, with you in the second part of this, uh, this two part series. Uh, I already hope you enjoyed this uh, first part and I hope you join me for the second. Bye!